Tomorrow's Modern Warfare 2 Season 1 Reloaded update, and in the final hours here, Infinity Ward put out a little bit more about what we can expect for a few things upcoming in that update. Today, we'll briefly run down what you should know and what you can expect beyond just tomorrow's update. As we go along, drop your thoughts below. You looking forward to the upcoming raid? You have your kits and spec ops ranked up? Let me know below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to stay updated with all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and anything COD related. And again, check out my friends over at G Fuel for some last second restocks or stocking stuff or gifts for the holiday. Code Espresso gets you 20% off and 30% off on some products, so link below if you guys are at all interested. For now, let's jump into what you need to know in regards to the final hours before Season 1 Reloaded. So first, let's talk about raids, because we actually got a bit of interesting information as to the future of raids here for Modern Warfare 2 out of a new Intel drop that Infinity Ward put out. I always love the insider looks at and the behind the scenes stuff here for it, so if you guys haven't seen that Intel drop, check it out. How we created the raid for Modern Warfare 2. This is the first time that Call of Duty has ever done a raid. The raid is actually five raids, and we're releasing each piece in five seasons. They're all connected. This activity won't be match made. You will need to squad up prior to entering the raid. No one fights alone. Uh, that's, a, that's a staple of Call of Duty since the very first Call of Duty. And that's something that I think the raid embodies very well because you're not going to be able to get through this alone. What's new and exciting regarding player mechanics, we're asking players to traverse this large, long labyrinth full of water with very little air supply to complete it as a group. We want players to call up each other up and be like, hey, it's raid night. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna squash this thing, get that sweet loot that this mode's offering. Something that we're really excited about with the raid is kind of how it unfolds narratively. As you progress through the seasons, you know, this, this narrative is gonna start emerging and start unfolding as you move through it. It picks up directly after Modern Warfare 2, meeting up with, you know, familiar characters, some new enemies, wrapping up loose ends. So for me, the most interesting part here, we didn't really learn too much about gameplay, and we'll talk about that in just a second, but in terms of information for raids overall, we learned about the quantity of raids we can expect to see over the coming year. Obviously, there are bigger undertakings than what we may consider, especially depending on how long these actually turn out to be. If these raids are an hour, two hours, three hours for playthrough in length, or perhaps even longer, there's a lot that goes into building those and developing those, especially if there's cinematics interwoven into the raid, which, fun fact, actually found out through a discussion with a friend on the narrative team that the pre-rendered cinematics, not the ones you can tell are in-engine real-time renders, but the ones that look actually cinematic, like a movie or something like that, those are apparently some of the most expensive and longer in development pieces to make for the game, like months of work and tons of money for a minute or two of cinematic. So found that kind of crazy. Nice little interesting trivia topic. But with that in mind, duration and all of that that would go into it, I wasn't expecting multiple raids per season, but it seems like we'll have that trajectory of one a season or about one a season. You may have caught it, but Zied Riki, gameplay director at Infinity Ward, said the raid is actually five raids, and we're releasing each piece in five seasons. They're all connected. So five raids, five seasons. Will we only see five seasons this year for Modern Warfare 2? While that's an easy assumption and very well could be the case, I do think it's too early to tell. Again, I'm kind of referring back to Vanguard's five seasons that we had there and the shortened time frame because that was likely just a lack of development and not necessarily a planned reduction in seasons, but perhaps this one is with Modern Warfare 2. What I do think is possible is somewhat of an asymmetrical release though that could account for a slight gap or lost time in terms of that, where we may still have six seasons, but five raids. If you think back to it, of course, Modern Warfare 2019 and Cold War ended up having six seasons, but for things like zombies, you didn't have six zombies maps. We didn't have a single map every single season. Instead, it could be something that maybe raids is the same way, where season one reloaded is that key drop, but again, that's not a main seasonal launch here. But with season two perhaps holding out for ranked play and other major additions, maybe they don't release a new raid in season two and instead hold out for season three for raid two. And then we have major introductions along each season as we go along instead of of introducing key pillars of the game along that line but that's all speculation. Now, beyond that, we learn, of course, that raids do have that unfolding narrative, picking up directly after Modern Warfare 2's campaign and unfolding as we go along. And for that, I'm really excited for what that will entail. I think there's a lot that could potentially come out of this, and I do think 
so we may explore a certain someone's introduction in the storyline following that mid credit scene. So my question that will likely be answered in the next 24 hours is, do we pick up right after the events of Modern Warfare 2's main campaign, or does that mid credit scene get factored in here? Do we go on the hunt for Shepard, or is there another threat introduced that we're following that up? I think the two can certainly coexist easily as a narrative, but just curious to see where this takes us, and especially because the line of meeting up with familiar characters and new enemies intrigues me. Familiar characters could very easily mean this one is Farah, Gaz, and Price, but new enemies? Is that a new new enemy and somebody we've never seen before, or somebody that's new to this new Modern Warfare universe that's been established that could come from that original trilogy? Anyways, beyond that, specific details, beyond new matchmaking info stating that you need a squad of three beforehand, there is no film mechanic or any matchmaking per se, they're still keeping everything close to the chest. We know of that water level that we're going to need to share oxygen that we've seen already in the trailer and also detailed in this intel drop, but they're really keeping this close and letting everybody figure it out for themselves come launch. So I'm kind of amazed that we actually haven't gotten a dedicated blog or anything that lets us know exactly what's going to be coming up or what's expected with that raid just yet, especially since this is the flagship for the entry of this update. I mean, we had a bunch of things leading up to Warzone 2 and DMZ's launch in terms of trailers, explainers, blog posts, all that kind of stuff, but nothing for Rage just yet. So really curious and looking forward to jumping into that. Now, beyond that, we also did learn a little bit about some upcoming stuff here in regards to the Warzone offering, this being a new limited time mode, the Warzone Cup. This going live as of tomorrow and the update, lasting until the 23rd at 10 a.m. Pacific time. This is Call of Duty's take on Rocket League. Yes, as crazy as that sounds, to say that's indeed what it is. You're going to be playing in teams of three, trying to score goals in a specific map made out to be a pitch here on ATVs using shock sticks to deter your opponents and slow them down. But also you have the ability to score kills by ramming enemies at full speed. So again, quite literally Rocket League, but in Call of Duty. So this is interesting. I don't know how much I'm going to play with this. I don't know if we're going to see any rewards or anything. So it's kind of just a niche little thing in a for fun mode that you can end up playing. But We'll see how this all works out. Maybe I'll jump in. But right now, admittedly, I'm not really interested in this. It doesn't really seem to grab my attention. And honestly, I'm a little bit salty because when you look at this, this is a map that's made specifically for this mode, right? It's a brand new original map, but we only have two 6v6 maps, both of which are not original maps. They're returning maps for Season 1. So we quite literally got more Rocket League maps in Season 1 than we did original maps for 6v6 multiplayer. Just going to put that out there. Do with that what you will. But anyways, that's the last second intel that we ended up getting here as of today from across the COD blog and official socials here ahead of Modern Warfare 2 Season 1 Reloaded. So that's what we're going to call it. Want to just fill you guys in here with some last second stuff again that you may have missed, some cool stuff that may help you going into tomorrow. But for now, that's what we're going to call it. So let me know your thoughts down below. Are you guys looking forward to anything in particular? I'm looking forward to these raids. Definitely going to be grinding these out and hopefully not dying a ton because I still need some work to rank up my Spec Ops kits. But anyways, let me know your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing earning all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and anything COD related. For now though, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.